Hey y'all, my name is Jacqueline. Welcome to Fit and Faithful. Today, we're going to strengthen the soul with scripture study. Today's verse is found in Psalm 16, verse 11, which says, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Now today I'm going to really touch on how the three things that are mentioned in this verse, which are life, joy, and pleasures, are all found in Jesus Christ. So the first of these three things, life, if we skip ahead into the New Testament, into the Gospels, and we look at John 14, verse 6, we see, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So when God in the Psalm 1611 says he's going to make known to us the path of life, that path of life is found in Jesus Christ. Jesus states himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So through believing in Jesus, through having faith in Jesus, through having a deep constant personal relationship with Jesus and by trusting him with everything in your being you are reconciled to God you come to God and you know the fullness of life that comes with knowing Christ with comes with knowing God and that life is not just an abundant life here on earth but also an abundant life up in heaven with our father now, the second thing that can point us to the New Testament that connects us to Jesus is joy and how we find that Jesus is our joy and through Jesus we experience a fullness of joy. And that is found in Luke 2, 10. And the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. Now, the angels have come to tell the shepherds this good news of great joy. That good news is Jesus Christ, our Savior, has been born. He has come into the world to save us from our sinful ways, to cleanse us, to reconcile us to God. And that is the good news of great joy. That is the good news of Jesus. And as someone who is a pretty joyful individual, I have never experienced a joy quite like the joy I experience when I am nearest to God. And I have tried many times to find the same kind of joy in things of this world, in relationships, in food, in my work, and it never quite competes to what I experience when I am closest to God. So seek your joy in Jesus Christ. And the final concept we're gonna talk about is pleasures forevermore being seated at the right hand of God. Now, how does this tie in to Jesus Christ? Well, in Mark 16, 19, it says, So then after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. So in Psalm 16, 11, when it says that at God's right hand there are pleasures forevermore, well, what or who is at God's right hand? Jesus. And similar to the joy and similar to the life, we go seeking pleasures of this world and it never fully satisfies us. It quite often leaves us very disappointed. And if we look to Jesus, we will have those, those desires satisfied in him because it is in him that we will find pleasures forevermore. <laughs>